Hey people, it's Naya Stoki. Now this is from Daily Mail. This is about the NYPD and the robot dogs. Robot dog to the rescue. NYPD unleashes its four-legged digi-dog in the Bronx that uses cameras and AI to investigate a host situation. Residents in the Bronx, New York, stopped dead in their tracks as a four-legged robot dog tra- uh, trotted down East 227th Street Tuesday. The machine called DigiDog was accompanying human officers responding to a home invasion and barricade situation. DigiDog do- joined the New York Police Department last year, which changed the machine's yellow color to blue and black and gave it a new name. It was initially named Spot by its creators, Boston Dynamics. The robotic dog, according to ex- reports, was sent inside a building in the Bronx to climb stairs and investigate an area for a hostage situation, but no one was found. The videographer, Daniel Valls of Freedom News TV, TV, said the dog responded to a home invasion and barricade situation on East 227th Street near White Plains Road in Wakefield. DigiDog was designed for emergency situations that would otherwise be too dangerous for human officers. The robot is fitted with cameras to search an area and send back real-time footage and is powered by artificial intelligence to navigate on its own. Members of the NYPD's Technical Assistance Response Unit told ABC7 in December that the robot weighs 70 pounds, can run about three and a half miles per hour, three and a half miles, and climb over obstacles. It is also capable of two-way communication. For example, if an officer needs to talk with a suspect, they are able to without getting in harm's way. DigiDog originated from Boston Dynamics, which initially named the machine Spot. However, NYPD gave the robot a new paint job and name before unleashing the city to combat crime. The department has used DigiDog in previous incidents in Brooklyn and Queens. In October 2020, there was a shooting in Brooklyn, and the robot was used to investigate a basement where witnesses said the gunman was hiding. And later in Queens, DigiDog came in handy at a tense scene where two armed men were holding five hostages in a home. NYPD Technical Assistance Response Unit investor Frank Digiacomo told ABC7, People wanted food, so we strapped food onto it and sent it into the location. While the NYPD is using the robot dog to fight crime, a prankster is using it to wreak havoc in an art gallery. Members of the public will be able to take remote control of an armed pitbull firing robotic dog in an art gallery. Quirky, chaos loving New York based startup MSCHF pronounced mischief are behind the campaign which highlights the risk of such machines being pursued. Spot's rampage will begin at 1, uh, 30, 1 p.m. Eastern Standard Time, 6, uh, 6 o'clock Greenwich Mean Time on February 24th, and every two minutes, the site will hand over control to a different smartphone user. The event is being held in a small art, small art gallery constructed in MSGF's uh, Mistress Brooklyn offices, a one populated by paintings, vase, boxes, and the firm's past products. Boston Dynamics have criticized Mistress Paintball firing application of their robot, calling it a spectacle that fundamentally misrepresents Spot. We've put a, well, I think that's kind of the point that if it's misused, it can do wrong things. We put Spot in an art gallery mounted with a 68 caliber paintball gun, giving the internet the ability to control it, Mistress wrote on the website, or live streaming Spot as it frolics and destroys the gallery around it. Spot's rampage is piloted by you. Spot is remote controlled over the internet and we will select random viewers to take the wheel. The intent of the startup's latest stunt appears to be to draw attention to the potential for robots like Sam to Spot to be misused in the future. When killer robots come to America, they'll be wrapped in fur carrying a ball. Spot is Rob Reinhardt's ideal pet. It never shits. The Spot Rampage website declares, Reinhardt is the man behind the food replacement drink Soylent who has in interviews expressed resentment about having to eat at all. Good boy, Spot. Everyone in the world takes one look at cute little Spot and knows this thing will definitely be used by the police and the military to murder people. The web page continues. Oh, for sure. I, that's what I thought when I heard about this. What's going to happen is if you defend yourself against this robot, you will be charged with murder. And it, the dog will be treated, the robot dog will be treated like when you people murder actual dogs. But if it kills you, it will just be an accident and you will get uh, the whole get over it speech. Anyway, let's keep going. Oh, let me read. Boston Dynamics first showed off Spot Mini, the most advanced robot dog ever created, in a video posted in November 2017. The firm, best known for Atlas, its 5 foot 9, 1.7 meter humanoid robot, has revealed a new lightweight version of its robot Spot Mini. The robotic canine was shown trotting around a yard with the promise that more information from the notoriously secretive firm is coming soon. Spot Mini is a small four-legged robot that comfortably fits in an office or home, the firm says on its website. It weighs 25 kilograms, 55 pounds or 30 kilograms, 66 pounds when you include the robotic arm. Spot Mini is an all is all electric and go up f- and can go for about 90 minutes on a charge, depending on what it's doing. The firm says boasting Spot Mini is the quietest robot we have built. Spot Mini was first unveiled in 2016, and a previous version of the Mini version of Spot with a strange extendable net 
Nick has been showing, showing up helping around the house. In the firm's previous video, the robot is shown walking out of the firm's HQ into what appears to be a home. It, uh, there it helps load a dishwasher and carries a can to the trash. It also, at one point, encounters a dropped banana skin and falls dramatically, but uses its extendable neck to push itself back up. Spot Mini is one of the quietest robots we have ever built, the firm says, due to electric motors. as a variety of sensors, including depth cameras, a solid state gyro, IMU, and proprioception sensors in its limbs. These sensors help with its navigation and mobile manipulation. Spot Mini performs some tasks autonomously, but often uses a human for high level guidance. Well, people, for those of you who followed, I've often documented how a lot of these technologies are used to profile and attack uh, Tijuanian black Americans in particular, like uh, the guy in Detroit, and also the passport uh, AI that, mis uh, that misrepresented uh, a black member of the public here in the UK. And that's no different here, because people say it's the computer can't get it wrong. They only know the information that they're fed by their programs. And we all know what will be targeted in one of these machines, probably, will be a black man looking like Wesley Snipes is a threat, and a person who looks like, I don't know, Donald Trump is a gentle uh, giant who wouldn't hurt anybody, even if he has a gun and, well, you know how it is. Anyway, I'm going to leave this article and some more in the description. Please comment, rate, share, and subscribe. If you'd like to support this channel, leave my GoFundMe in the description. If you want to follow me on Instagram, I'll leave that there as well. If you'd like to buy one of my t-shirts, I'll leave that link there as well. Peace.